pilots welcome back to motion rc today is an exciting day if you haven't already checked it out we've been doing a build series on the nexa tri pacer it's all done and it's time to get it out here and fly it for its first flights uh, and i hope you enjoy it so without further ado let's get this thing out to the runway and let's show you how it flies all right pilots you've seen me build it over the last few weeks here we go this is the nexa tri pacer We're going five to ten mile an hour gust from the north. And uh, man, this plane has been so sweet today that we've been really enjoying it. This will make my third flight on the aircraft. Put it up for a wing up. Sorry, Lori. We cut that a little further out. You know, it's a civilian style aircraft, you're not really going to be trying to do a lot of loops and rolls and stuff. Will it? Yes. Where it's really sweet is slow and down the runway. She's just gorgeous. You can see the crossway is kind of pushing her right now. Just a nice scale flyer. I'm going to push this uh, wing up pass a little further out for her. This is another one. A nice presentation pass is what this plane is really excelled at. Come by. Fly it a little wider for Lori's sake. And a presentation pass. Absolutely gorgeous. Tell you what, it scoots downwind right now. Dump flaps in. Come in for a touch and no. All day with this airplane. Fixed landing gear, don't have to worry about tearing up any kind of retracts with this aircraft. And it lands so gently, I couldn't see you ever tearing these gear out. Go for another touch and go. This is half flapped right now, direct crosswind. A little bit of flare at the end. Power coming back in. We'll do a full flap this time. She's doing, she's happy doing these. I do have a 10% down elevator mix at full flaps. Excuse me, I have 14% at full flaps, 10% on half flap for my elevator mixes here. She does climb a little bit when you dump them out. Look at that. Uh, now, of course, we have to do the obligatory roll and loop. Even though it is a scale aircraft that would not do that in real life, we'll do it for you. Get a little altitude, a little speed, and up and a roll. Does a beautiful one. And we'll take it up for a wing over. Beautiful. Love the Florida clouds right now. Come on up. Kick the nose over. Come down the other way. Fly a nice circle out here in the middle. I'm flying it on a 3000 milliamp 4S battery and I'm getting right at five minutes of flight. She is a sweet, sweet, sweet airplane. Really can't recommend all the next aircraft enough. Uh, I think this is about the tenth one I've done here since coming to Motion RC. And all of them have flown really nice. And the build goes together really well. You know, just take your time. This is no flaps. Cheat the crosswind a little bit. Uh, yeah, 
yeah, the build was super easy. You can go back and watch the whole thing. We did it over a five-part series. Aircraft flew, or put together very well. Hard to talk and fly at the same time sometimes. <laughs> But uh, I'm super happy with this aircraft. All right, there's our five minute timer. I'm gonna go one notch of flaps. Uh, with the direct crosswind today, I don't really like the full flap. Taking gunfire, we're out at Lark's. Level it out, decrease the speed, about a 10% throttle, right there. All right, let's get this thing over to the bench and show you around the model a little bit. So pilots, that was an amazing flight of our little tri-pacer here. Uh, I've been flying it all day today. That actually makes our third flight and uh, really enjoying it out here. Uh, it went together super easy. Once again, if you're interested in getting this airplane, we have a full build video series up now. There's five total. Uh, it's a little more involved because it's a big balsa airplane, but uh, nothing you can't tackle yourself, especially with those videos to help finish it. Uh, let's go over what I did to make a successful first flight. So hopefully you can make the same uh, outcome as I did. Uh, now for CG, so I put these little black dots under the wings. The uh, manual actually shows it, and if I remember right, it was 65 millimeters uh, to there. Now let me balance it off of my fingers for a second, and I'll show you where I ended up at. That was my good start spot. So I'll put my finger there, and my finger there. And I'm just a hair bit behind it. Uh, I would say if you go straight to it, you're gonna be perfect. Uh, but it was really pretty good how it was. Uh, and that was on a 3000 milliamp 4S battery. So with that CG, the aircraft feels very comfortable and I highly recommend, like I said, add that little bit of nose weight if you're using the slide of a battery. Now, if you were to go to a 5000, I don't think you would need that anymore. Uh, but with the 3000 and the power system that I'm using, I'm getting five minutes. Now, speaking of the power system on this one, I did end up using, it's actually a Flightline Tiger Cat motor and the ESC from that Tiger Cat. Uh, and it was plenty for this little airplane. Now, if you use the GP10, no issues with it. Uh, it's gonna be even more powerful than what it is on my setup currently. Uh, it's just, I had that motor and decided to use it. And same thing, if you have a plane that you've crashed and you're looking for something to put it in, start looking at our Nexa line and look for something that's about the equivalent weight and you can probably put it in there. Now, uh, the prop is the one that's right off the website that's recommended for the GP10. It actually amped out perfectly to be on this motor also. And that is the provided spinner that comes in the kit. I just repainted it just to add a little bit closer to the cowling. Same thing with the propeller. I ended up painting that white instead of leaving it the black. So let's get into the rates that I'm using for the aircraft and my expo settings. All right, for my rates, as far as my ailerons go, I have 100% throw on my ailerons. I don't have any other rate in there, but I do have 20% expo. Uh, the airplane feels really good with that 100% throw as you see it there and not any other changes. All right, so for my elevator, I have 100% throw with 30% expo. I have 75% throw with 25% expo and I have 50% throw with 20% expo. Now what you saw me flying it on for that flight was the 75% throw and the 20% expo setting. I really enjoyed that airplane there. Uh, it didn't feel too pitch sensitive and I definitely had enough elevator authority to hold it off and touch mains first. Now this airplane, you really need to touch main gear first with a nose high attitude when you land. If you hit that nose strut first, it's gonna bounce pretty aggressively. If it bounces, go on and give it full power and fly out of it and come back around for another landing. If you try and ride out that bounce, it only oscillates and gets worse and worse. So make sure when you land this, you're touching mains first. 
Now, as far as the details of the airplane go, there are some beautiful little scale features to this. You have the wheel pants and the wheel covers that go over the main gear. Uh, you also have all the flying wire cabanes that are installed on the aircraft. The nice thing with this is you have one screw on the top and then one screw on the cabane to slide the entire wing off and the cabane stays with the wing to make it easy to transport if you do need to take it apart. Now, I can be able to put this aircraft in my minivan without taking the wings off, so it's a nice size to be able to see it, but it's not so big that you have to take it apart in all vehicles. Um, the other really cool thing is they added the little flying wires here on the tail. Uh, they add a lot of little detail to the aircraft. They're not structurally needed by any means as far as actual flying performance goes, but they do look good on the aircraft. Now, one thing you may have noticed is I actually have a pilot inside of my TriPacer. That is the pilot from the Wilga inside of the aircraft. Uh, if you've ever looked at our Black Horse line of models and you're looking at getting this airplane and want to get a cool pilot for it, the little Black Horse Wilga pilot fits perfectly in here. He even has uh, a white shirt or you can get the red shirted version and he kind of matches the airplane. And I was able to heat him up with a heat gun and actually stick the little control yoke right in his hand. Let's see if Lori can show you all that. And then I just added that little stick to the front of it that almost touches the dashboard. So it looks really good. He fit right on the stock seat. Uh, if you're curious about how I put all that in there, I explain it in the assembly video of the aircraft. Another cool feature on this aircraft is it actually has a working door right here. Reach over and pull it. And it's just got a little magnet that holds that little door uh, on the aircraft closed, but just a nice little scale touch to it. Uh, overall, it's a beautiful little airplane, guys. I hope y'all have decided to check one of these out. Uh, they are in stock and shipping now here at MotionRC.com. Uh, as always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has everything you want. We hope you keep coming back for more of these videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.